Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Yusuf. Uh, I'm here to present uh, a paper for my friend from Sh uh, Shanghai Chaotong University. And uh, I will go through the slides. Uh, the first thing, I will introduce uh, his paper, then show you some related work, then go directly to his proposed model, and then uh, show his results. Uh, the paper is actually about VENET, Vehicular Ad Hoc Network, and as we know, the Vehicular Ad Hoc Network is a group of, or a group of cars, a group of vehicles communicating with each other. And this is a snapshot from Shanghai city from around uh, 2,500 taxis in Shanghai city. And the blue, oh, sorry, the blue are the traces of uh, GPS in Shanghai, messages from GPS. So based on this, uh, the author will build his model. And vehicle can, can be a moving sensor. And the most important challenge in this part is the data delivery. Because there are so many applications can be introduced to vehicles like congestion prevention, congestion avoidance, or others. But how to guarantee that all the messages or the buckets, buckets can be reached to the target vehicle. And this is still a big issue in this part of research. So the challenge is the high mobility of the vehicles and the, un the uneven distribution. And if, if we go to more details, like when two vehicles meet or encounter each other, the meeting time is too short which is, in the average, as short as 13 seconds. And this does not allow all buckets to reach the other vehicle. There are so many solutions have been proposed in the literature, and most of them actually depend on the store carry forward. Store the, when there is some intermittent disconnectivity, store the message, carry it, and when you meet the target vehicle or another vehicle, transmit it to the other vehicle. But most of these applications or proposed solutions suffer from the data delivery. According to the author, according to some empirical testing, not, not all uh, buckets can be transmitted during the time to live. And the main reason is, again, is the random or the uneven uh, meeting or the, un the high mobility. So as we know, uh, the 3G now is very popular in the whole world. So we want to use the 3G to assist Vanit to guarantee more data delivery. But the main problem of the 3G, 3G is not cheap, it's expensive. And maybe also there are some other issues. So the goal is to explore the problem of 3G assisted data delivery in Venice. And if we want to use the 3G, there will be two main points, two main challenges. The first thing is the intrinsic trade-off between the data delivery ratio and the delivery delay. And actually, when, when we say data delivery ratio is the ratio between the received buckets to the transmitted buckets, like how many buckets have been received. And the second thing it is difficult to decide which bucket we want to send by 3G, which bucket we want to send by the normal VANET, because VANET is free, but 3G is expensive. So how to decide this? And in related work, 
actually not so many work has been done in the 3G to Venice, but uh, most of them, as I said, they depend on the store carry forward approach or trajectory based approach or exploiting specific feature such as the geometric distance, intercontact time, and, and so on. And this is in the vehicle to vehicle, which we mean uh, V2V. And there are some also research, they use the access point, or they call it RSU, roadside unit, just to assist the transmission of packets. So the author here proposed his model, which is two cars can communicate when they are in the transmission range or the communication range, which is D, and uh, focusing on the unicast. And then there should be a set of buckets that should be delivered. And there should also be some buckets that can be transmitted by the 3G, and we denote it by C. So his problem is to maximize the average delivery ratio and to minimize the average delivery delay. And under the constraint of maximum number of packets that can go through the 3G. And this is just an overview of his model. There are two main blocks. The first block is to select the bucket or to select the packets that can go through the 3G. And the second one is to allocate the number of 3G buckets to different vehicles over time. And this can be done. Uh, he developed uh, mathematical conditions to do, to do this. And the main idea in, in this slide is this equation. There, he, he proposed an exponential equation to and this equation express the meeting time of two vehicles. And based on this equation, he can develop the probability to deliver a bucket from vehicle I to vehicle J, based on the deadline time for a bucket to reach the destination. And the deadline is like, for example, RB equal the time to lift time minus the time of originating the packet. So here, for the first building block, there we choose the buckets that should go through the 3G. So the key idea is to deliver those buckets with lower delivery probability through the 3G. And this can be done also by sorting. We have some buckets. We know that some of these buckets has lower probability to reach the destination. So we send these buckets through the 3G. And the other buckets can be sent through the normal venice. And the second building block we need to determine when to transmit the buckets through the 3G. So this is about the time. So it is desirable to make the decision at the last minute for better utilization of the limited 3G traffic. But the problem is that a high delay may be introduced. So here we come to the trade-off between the delay and the delivery. So when should we use the 3G? At the beginning or at the end? Thus, we should try to transmit packets over the whole course of packet delivery, from the beginning to the end. And every time we need to calculate the probability of delivery and use the packets with low uh, delivery to through the 3G. And the author used the, the picture that I showed at the beginning, some traces from real from real GPS traces to simulate his, his model and set the communication range to 250 meter and the TTL time to two hours. Then they selected 400 vehicles, 
for that. And they compare their algorithm with two schemes. The first scheme is the one that choose to use the 3G at the beginning, calculating the probability at the beginning and use the 3G at the beginning. And the second scheme is they use the uh, 3G at the end. After they transmit, they can know which packet cannot reach, then they send this packet through the 3G. So these are the results. The green line is the proposed method, which is called adapt determining, determining at any time. Any time can know the packets that has low probability and send. And it, ha it is very close to the last determining, because the last determining at the end, hit every time we send the message at the end, we can know which packet cannot receive, cannot be received. So the delivery ratio is very close to the last determining scheme and is uh, much better than the, the, prede uh, the predetermining scheme in terms of the average delay because the predetermining scheme at the beginning, uh, when you want to transmit the message at the beginning, the delay is not so high. So it's better than the predetermined scheme. So as a conclusion, we have made the first attempt to exploring the problem of efficient data delivery in Venice with the assistance of 3G. And we have presented an adaptive algorithm which estimate the delivery probability of a packet based on the contact graph of the vehicle. And this scheme allocates the 3G budget during the whole course of packet delivery. Uh, thank you for listening. And sorry, maybe I did not give so much explanation. This paper for another author. If you have any question, I can try to answer as much as I can. And if I cannot, maybe you can send email to him.